In this lesson, we'll be discussing the dehydration of alcohols. The question reads, draw the condensed structural formula for the major alkene produced by the dehydration of each of the following alcohols. As the question implies, when a dehydration reaction occurs with alcohols, alkenes are formed. So expect to see a double bond somewhere. Remember what dehydration is. It's the removal of a water molecule, technically. So we'll be removing this OH along with another hydrogen forming water. Take a look at our first molecule. We have one butanol. One butanol will be losing its hydroxyl group, the OH, at carbon one. So we can technically cleave this away. And if we cleave that away, we have an extra electron. That electron will make a double bond with the adjacent carbon to its left. So what we should have here is CH3, CH2, CH2 double bonded with another. What ends up forming here is 1 butene. Moving on to question B. This time our molecule is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'll write down 2 pent because it's a 5 carbon chain, pentanol. So we have 2 pentanol and we want to see what happens during a dehydration reaction. Notice that this molecule is asymmetrical. We have the OH occurring at C2 as opposed to, for example, C3. Whenever you have asymmetrical alcohols, we use Zaitsev's rule to predict the outcome. Zaitsev's rule tells us that the predominant product in a dehydration reaction is the most substituted alkene that is the one carrying the largest number of alkyl substituents. Or, in other words, hydrogen is eliminated preferentially from the carbon atom joined to the least number of hydrogen atoms. Looking at what we have here, we'll be removing the OH from carbon 2 and the H from carbon 3, which has the smaller number of hydrogen atoms. The major product is 2-pentene. So the predominant product will have the double bond right here, where we have CH3, CH, double bonded to another CH, CH2, and finally CH3. That's the majority of the product. And we have 2-pentene right here, so that's 2-pentene. But you'll also form a little bit of this minor product, where we have the double bond right here. CH2, double bonded to CH and the rest of the molecule. In question number two, what is the name of the alkene produced by the dehydration of cyclopentanol? Let's draw this out. We have a carbon ring of five, and we can place the OH right here, it doesn't really matter. And we want the name of the alkene produced during its dehydration. Of course, the OH will be removed and replaced with a double bond. So we won't see this anymore, and you can place your double bond either here or here. The name of this molecule is cyclopentene. And there you have it. A few examples on how to depict the outcome of a dehydration reaction involving hydrocarbons containing OH.